अस्तिर दशिदेवतात्मा हिमालयो नाम नगाधिराज पूर्वापर तोयनिदीवगाह्य स्थित पृथिव्या इव मानदंड सो लुकिंग एट द स्तुति ऑफ द देवास टुवर्ड्स ब्रह्म एंड आई थिंक वी स्टॉप विद दिस श्लोक लेवन उद्धात उद्घात प्रणवो यासा न्याय स्त्रिर्दीरण कर्म यज्ञ फल स्वर्ग तासा प्रभव गिरा सो यु आर दणव यासा उद्घात प्रणव गिरा तासा गिरा प्रभव तम सो यश्वसी वेद दट इज दू मूल फॉर दिस श्लोक यु आर दोर्स फॉर ऑल द वेद and those vedas which have pranava as its starting point and nyayehi tribihi udiranam and it is uh, spoken with three types of uh, nyaya which is udatta anudatta and swarita that is what mallinatha also takes and that is the explanation that uh, uh, our narayana pandita also takes uh, our, uh, you know kale has two three different uh, varieties that he says nyaya he says can also mean you know tara mandra madhya it can also mean samhita krama padak pada pa, samhita paatham pada paatham and krama paatham there are three types of paatha in uh, uh, in the vedas so that which is also divided into three uh, uh, ways which is that can also be represented by this tribihi nyayehi udiranam then karma yajna phalam swarga so it says the the work that is the the action that is being enjoined in the vedas is yaga with swargam as its phalam so these vedas were also uh, from you they they have you as the source so tum prabhavah giram i think we thought we will do that one extra shloka um, which was there in the kale edition uh, which is clearly a prakshipta shloka I'll just share that next also. Okay. Dravaha Sanghata Kathina Ha Sthula Ha Sukshma Ha Laghu Hu Guru Hu Vyakto Vyakte Tara Ha Cha Asi Prakamyam Te Vibhuti Shu. This is a Prakshipta Shloka. Dravaha. Uh, so the, all of these, what are all the srishti that happens in this world? So the Shloka here, the arrangement here given by uh, uh, Kale is such that. आत्मना आत्मा वेत्सी सृजसी आत्मा आत्मना आत्मना कृतिना चुव आत्मनी एव प्रलीयसे सो यू आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर बोथ द सृष्टि स्थिति एंड लय एंड यू आर द मेटीरियल कॉज आलो फॉर दि एंटर सृष्टि सो वाट इज दट सृष्टि देर आर् डिफरेंट टाइप दट आर् देर इन दट सृष्टि विच इज द्रव समथिंग कैन बी लाइक अ द्रव लाइक अ लिक्विड फॉर्म विच इज सरी समुद्रादि वत रस आत्मक सरित समुद्रादिवत रसात्मक इट इज द टाइप ऑफ इट इज इन द लिक्विड फॉर्म लाइक लेक्स और रिवर्स और समुद्र ओशन संघात कठिन संघात संघात निबीड संयोगेन बै वर्ल्डो यू brahma sthula anything that is a gross element indriya grahana yogya ghatadivat any object that can be um, uh, that comes within the perceptive range then that is also uh, uh, you so you are of the form of sthula anything that is gross form and sukshmam atindriya api so paramanvadivat any paramanu right from paramanu to uh, any form that can be uh, seen or uh, understood by the sense organs that also is you vyaktaha manifested vyakte taraha unmanifested these you can take it as vyaktaha is karya roopaha asi and vyakte taraha is karana roopaha asi and laguhu guruhu also so laguhu Uh, is utpatana yogya tula adivate that which can fly which is laghu light any object that is very light guru who 
that which is uh, uh, um, heavy and cannot be moved around hemadrivatu achalani achalaniya that which cannot be moved around like the meru mountain vyaktah you are of the form of karyam any effect and you are also the cause avyakta vyaktetarah vyaktat itarah vyaktetarah cha asi evam vibhutishu te prakamyam prakamyam is um yatha kamam you you have uh, 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 um, swetchaya tvam sarvatra vibhutishu uh, pravartase you are able to move around because you have the vibhuti all anima garima laghima and all of these are present in you and vibhutishu in all these uh, shaktis you can um, you can adopt any shakti that you want whenever you want so this is uh, so this shloka is very unlike kalidasas see ni every shloka you take there is some inner meaning to it or something or the other this seems to be just a repetition of words are also there see stulah sukshmah versus lagu guru if you have already said he is the sukshma thing and he is the stula aspect then you don't need a specific lagu and guru right this is probably just to say that he has anima garima laghima and all that that's why he has brought this shloka but this seems very unlike kalidasa so that's why it's a prakshipta shlokam okay so drava sanghata kathinah sthulah sukshmah laghur guruh vyakto vyakte tarascha asi prakamyam te vibhutishu is after this you have this uh, shloka that we read last time udghatah pranavo yasam nyaye stribihi udiranam karma yajna phalam swargah tasam tvam prabhavo gira the uh, the order in kale's book is a little different from this narayana pandita's book so we'll move on to this tvam pitru naam api pita deva naam api devata devatam daivatam ha okay devata ha okay devata iti there is another part parato api paraschasi vidhata vedhasam api tvam pitr it's a very simple shloka i don't need to explain each word so we'll go directly into the vyakhyanam tvam pitrunam api pita asi pitrunam here is agnishu attadinam agnishu attah attah is someone who is uh, um uh, due because of uh, you know doing it in the agni agni tarpanena eva yesham preetihi bhavati te eva pitarah so the for whom you offer uh, sacrifices in the agni those are the uh, the fathers or the ancestors of our uh, uh, this thing so that is pitrunam api tvam eva pita asi so apishabde apishabda pitrunam purana prasiddha sarvotkarsham ah so pitrunam api those who are all even in the purana prasiddha pitara pitarah ye santi teshu api even among those who are famous as uh, progenitors you know like marichi etc or any prajapati even among those people who are termed as ancestors in the puranas you are the uh, uh, father of all of them so pitrunam api pita ijyante pitaro devaihi surendradibhihi api uta even devas have to perform yaga for their ancestors so that uh, even for those uh, ancestors you are the father to pita mananiya asi you are the most respected person among all of those ancestors whether it is for manushya or deva either of them tvam devanam api daivatam asi indradi devanam api adhishwarah asi karmakande yashtavyataya प्रसिद्धा पितृदेव गणा तमेव पति कर्मकांडे यष्टव्यतया कर्मकांडे जस्ट बिकॉज इन द कर्मकांड यू हैव टू परफॉर्म यागा टुवर्ड्स ब्रह्मा और एनी ऑफ दोस देवास वेर इज आई डोंट नो इफ देर इज एन आहुति स्पेसिफिकली फॉर ब्रह्मा नॉट श्यूर अबउट दट टू चेक दट प्रसिद्धा i don't think so no i don't think so right yeah, yeah, yeah. agni indra vayu you have a, an ahuti for all of those devas yashtavyataya prasiddhanam pitra deva gananam api tvameva patihi so you become the pati you are the lord for all of those people 
who have to be pleased only by the karmakanda rules they are bound by rules whereas you have different you can be attained by different marga whereas those devas have to be attained have can be attained only through the karmakanda marga whereas brahma or brahman there is upasana kanda there is also the jnana margam there are different margas to attain i guess that is what he means here by saying karmakande yashtavyataya tesham devadina right pitruk deva gananam api tvam eva pati tesham api adhipatitve hetuhu what is the reason for saying that you are the uh, lord for both the ancestors and for the devas tvam parataha api paraha if we name something as the greatest param iti yes whatever we name as param you are greater than that param so parataha api paraha asi prapancha uttirnat maya shabalat purushat api paraha paramatma eva asi so the purusha one who is associated with maya is beyond this world prapancha uttirnat prapanchad api paraha yaha maya shabalitah purushah one who is with the maya he is the ishvara swarupam and tasya tasmat purushad api paraha yaha paramatma so your you are brahma is paramatma here so he is only looking at him as the ultimate reality brahman ಅತಯವ ಆಹು ತ್ವಂ ವೇಧಸಾಮ ವಿಧಾತ ಅಸಿ ವೇಧಸ ಇಸ್ ಜಗತ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟ ಜಗತ್ ಸರ್ಗ ಕೃತ ಮರೀಚ್ಯಾದೀನಿ ವಿಧಾತ ಸೃಷ್ಟ ಅಸಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಅದರ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ each prajapati is responsible some one prajapati was responsible for the snake and then one for uh, you know the birds the other for apsarastri the other for gandharvas the other manushyas so you had different prajapatis who were the progenitors of different clans different races and species in the world so tesham api vidhata tesham srashta tvameva srishti karta tvameva so vidhatrinam api vidhata tvameva ವಕ್ಷ್ಯತಿ ಮರೀಚ್ಯಾದೀನ ಜಗದ ಏಕದೇಶ ಕರ್ತೃತ್ವ ಸರ್ಗಶೇಷ ವಿಧಾಯಿತ್ವಾತ್ ಇದು ಷಷ್ಠ ಸರ್ಗೆ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ನಮ ನಮಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಡಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸರ್ಗಶೇಷ ಸರ್ಗಶೇಷ ಪ್ರಣಯನಾತ್ ವಿಶ್ವಯೋನೇರ್ ಅನಂತರ ಪುರಾತನ ಪುರಾಭಿ ಧಾತಾರ ಇದು ಕೀರ್ತಿ ಧಾತಾರ ಧಾತ ಆರ್ ವಿಧಾತ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಜನರಲಿ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆರ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಮರೀಚಿ ದಕ್ಷ ದಕ್ಷ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ವಿ ಸೇ ಸೊ ಮರೀಚಿ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಗ ಸರ್ಗ ಶೇಷ ಪ್ರಣಯನಾತ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಶ್ವಯೋನೆ ಅನಂತರ ವಿಶ್ವಯೋನೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಪಶ್ಚಾತ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿಶೇಷ ವಿಧಾನತ್ ಅಪಿ ಧಾತಾರ ಉಕ್ತ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಧಾತ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇಧಸಾಮ ವಿಧಾತ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಈವನ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಕ್ಷ ಮರೀಚಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಕಶ್ಯಪ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯಮತರೆಫರೆನ್ಸಿಸ್ಯರ್ಸ್ವಾಮನಂತಿ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಪುರುಷಾರ್ಥ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಿನೀ ಪ್ರವರ್ತನೀ ತದ್ ದರ್ಶಿ ಉದಾಸೀನ ತ್ವಾಮೇವ ಪುರುಷ ವಿದು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ಲಿ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಮತೆ ಕಥಂ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಪುರುಷ ಇದು ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಪುರುಷ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯು ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸಿದ್ಧೌ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಈಶ್ವರೌ ಅಪಿ ತ್ವಮೇವ ಇದು ತ್ವಾಂ ಪುರುಷಾರ್ಥ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಿನೀ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಆಮನಂತಿ ದೇ ಕಾಲ್ ಯು ಆಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ who functions for the benefit of purushartha for the benefit of purusha pravartini pravartani is functioning or uh, uh, operating who is doing things only for the purusha sankhya mata prakarena evameva asti 
तत्र प्रकृति ही मूल कारण सर्वत्र सृष्टे किमर्थम प्रकृति ही सृष्टि करोति इति चेत तत्र पुरुषस्य अर्थम एव इट इज ओनली फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द पुरुष नथिंग एल्स द पुरुष इज जस्ट देयर सन्निधि मात्रेण व्हाट इज द क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ द पुरुष देयर नाउ ही इज कॉल्ड ब्रह्मा एज द प्रकृति द पुरुष इज आल्सो ब्रह्मा हियर तद् दर्शिनम तद् दर्शिनम इत्युक्ते प्रकृति दर्शिनम वन हु सीज द प्रकृति and the udasinam who is also indifferent and it is a witness for all the actions of the prakriti saha purushah api tvameva tvameva purusham api viduhu sarve tvam purushartha pravartanim prakritim amananti tvam na anyam kanchit ityarthah no other person is called as the person who uh, you know uh, uh, makes the prakriti operate sannidhi matrena prakriti hi karyam karoti so by the presence you have that uh, the uh, prakriti making things or creating things in the world purushartha pravartinim purushasya arthan bhogan pravartayati purushasya krite for the sake of the purusha she creates objects in the world which are enjoyed by the purusha so arthan bhogan pravartayati she ensures that these things are created tadrishim prakritim tvam amananti they call you as that sort of a prakriti which the sankhya uh, you know uh, the, uh, this is not the na- na- nature that we say prakriti it is a technical term in this uh, shloka hmm? amananti and he talks about two sutras where uh, you know one sutra not two mana abhyase this because of the sutra you have a mananti instead of manati uh, gha something like that right jigrati all these uh, verbs um, tishthati for stha you have tishthati it follows that sutra there आमनाय सिद्धार्थे सिद्धार्थत्वेन व्यपदिशन्ति इत्यर्थः आम आमनन्ति डज नॉट मीन जस्ट दे डिक्लेअर इट इज आमनाय सिद्धार्थत्वेन एज इट इज बीइंग कंक्लूडेड इन द ट्रेडिशनल टेक्स्ट्स इट इज बीइंग कंक्लूडेड इन द टेक्स्ट दैट यू आर द प्रकृति सो आमनाय सिद्धार्थत्वेन व्यपदिशन्ति ते तु तत्र आमनायान प्रमाणत्वेन स्वीकृत्य तदनन्तरं प्रकृतिं त्वां विद्धि इति सांख्य स्मृतय सो हि टेक्स स्पेसिफिकली द स्मृती आर् द टेक्स्ट दट आर् रेलवेट टू सांख्य मत एंड सीज दट इट इज बीन सेट इन द सांख्य टेक्स्ट सत्वरज स्तमसा साम्यावस्था प्रधानमंत्री सांख्या व्यवहार नौ हि मूव्स ऑन टू ए स्म डिस्कशन अबउट द सांख्य मत एंड गिव्स लेट्स ए कैप्सिव एनकैप्सुलेटेड फॉर्म ऑफ द सांख्य मत हियर राइट एंड सेज हाउ प्रकृति इज ब्रह्म एंड द पुरुष इज आलो ब्रह्म वाट इज प्रकृति इन सांख्य मत एंड वाट इज पुरुष इन सांख्य मत स प्रधान और प्रकृति बोथ आर सिमिलर हियर इट इज जस्ट अ पर्यायवाची इन सांख्य मत सत्व रजस तमसा साम्य अवस्था प्रधान संख्या व्यवहार प्रकृति और प्रधान बोथ आर द सेम इट इज द ईक्वानिटी ऑफ सत्व रजस एंड तमस इट हेज थ्री क्वालिटी वेन ऑल थ्री क्वालिटी आर प्रेसेंट इन ईक्वल अमौंट देर इज नो अप्स एंड डाउन then you have it is called prakriti the moment there is an extra sattva gunam and less of rajas tamas the srishti starts you have mahat ahankara and then pancha tanmatra pancha indriya jnana indriya karma indriya pancha bhu mahabhuta etc etc you have there 25 or 27 tattvas okay uh, 26 depending on whether you have the purusha or not if it is a nireeshwara sankhya you have uh, you don't have purusha if it is a seeshwara sankhya you have as a ishwara there actually so tam eva mula prakriti hi iti prakriti hi iti cha vyavaharanti tam eva tarhi samyavastha meva mula prakriti hi iti vadanti athava you can call it as tam eva tadeva pradhanam eva mula prakriti hi iti api vyavaharanti they call it as uh, mula prakriti or prakriti तद उद्भूत महदादि प्रपंच मत महत् एक्सेट्रा कम्स फ्रम दिस प्रकृति तदुक्त सांख्य सप्तिया 
Ah, there is a text. I was looking at Sankhya Karika for this. The, the same Karika is there in Sankhya Karika also. Mula Prakriti Ravikriti hi Mahadadhyaha Prakriti Vikritayaha Sapta Shodashakascha Vikaraha Na Prakriti hi Na Vikriti hi Purushaha. Uh, if you know how the Srishti Krama happens according to Sankhya, uh, let me see if I have that chart. I had made one chart for Bhagavatam. Uh, one minute, let me just take that out. Easier for me to look at it and say. <laughs> there will be some extra words in it, so which will be applicable only to uh, Bhagavatam there. Okay, so this is uh, all that Adhyaya etc. is an explanation in Bhagavatam there. So Maya or Prakriti. From there, you have Mahat and then Ahankara. You have the next one. So this is, if you take this as one Tattvam, this is second. Then you have Tamas, uh, Ahankaram. And then you, you leave out Prakriti. You start from here. You have one, two, and then you have five Tanmatras. These form a set. These are Vikriti. So Maya is a... Um, when we go back to the text, now you will understand that Shloka much better. Ha, mula prakriti hi abhikriti hi. So mula prakriti does not change. From mahat, you find that with respect prakriti and vikriti, there is a change and a vikriti in it. it is, there is a natural state for it and there is a, a change, changeable state for it also. These are seven, which is mahat, ahankara and panchatanmatras. Then you have shodashakaha, vikaraha. Na prakriti hi. They do not have prakriti. They do not have a natural state. It is only a vikriti. And those 16 are, uh, what is that? 16? I just showed that. Huh. Which is jnana indriya, pancha jnana indriya, pancha karma indriya, pancha mahabhutani, and then you have manaha. These are your uh, 16 items. Okay. Uh, one minute. Okay. So, Moola Prakriti hi, Avikriti hi, Apshodashakaha, Vikaraha, Na Prakriti hi. And again, Na Vikriti hi, you have Purusha. Vikriti and Prakriti are some uh, technical terms that you will uh, find there in uh, Sankhya Karika. So, Avik, Vik, Prakriti hi is something that, Vikriti hi is that which is the final uh, state and it does not have any other uh, change after that, right? Abhikriti hi. So, Adhani Soldrar. Hmm. Abhikriti hi. So, both Prakriti and Purusha do not have any change. Mula Prakriti and Purusha do not have any change. If you look at Mahat, etc., the seven, they, with, they are called Vikriti with respect to its earlier. So, with respect to Prakriti, they are all called Vikriti. That is, it is a transformation of that Prakriti. Whereas, with respect to Ahankara, Mahat is called Prakriti, which is the source. You can take it as cause and effect. So, which means there is no other, it, uh, with respect to Mahat, with respect to Ahankara, uh, Mahat is a Prakriti, which is the cause. With respect to Mula Prakriti, the Mahat being a result of Prakriti, it becomes Vikriti. That is why Mahatadayaha Sapta is both Prakriti and Vikriti. If you look at the 16, it does not give rise to anything else. Pancha Karmendriyam, Pancha Jnanendriya, Pancha Mahabhuta and Manas. All these are only Vikaras. They do not give rise to anything else. So they are only Vikriti. Again, Purusha and Mula Prakriti is not at all. It, it is only na Vikriti. It is only Prakriti there. Okay. Whereas Purusha is again not at all. It doesn't change. It just stays like that. Hope it's clear. <laughs> okay. Tatra Sankhyaha Dvividaha. There are two types of Sankhyas, Nireshwara and Seshwara. Tatra Nireshwaraha Sankhyaha Anya Nitapekshatvatu Pradhanata Yeva Jagad Uttava Sthiti Vilayaha Ityahu. Because there is no Purusha there, you have only Pradhanam, only Prakriti present. And hence, Prakriti is responsible for Srishti, Sthiti and Laya. Seshwara Sankhyaha Punaha Ishwarasya Nishkriyasya Even though Ishwara does not have any action, 
Sanidhya matre naiva, just by the mere presence, uh, uh, the prakriti acts. Without purusha, prakriti cannot act. So, pradhanat jagad udbhavada yaha ityahuhu. Jagad utpatti sthiti and layam happens because of the presence of purusha. Taduktam, this is a quotation from Vishnu Purana. It's not in Sankhya Karika. One... In some sense, Seshwara ah. Sankhya also ah. speaks of a quote unquote a dormant Ishwara. It Whereas is a dormant the Ishwara. The uh, rest of the theism believes that, uh, you know, Brahma created or, you know, no, um, is there a difference yes. between Seshwara and uh, theism? Um, definitely there is. Theism, you know, what is which? Which uh, uh, any, line uh, of theism? Any form of uh, Hinduism believes that God created Brahma, Prajapati, wherever it is, right? The, the yes. creation is attributed to one Virat Purusha. Yes. Yes. And Whereas that Virat Vishwara, Purusha, that Virat Purusha is a combination of both Prakriti and uh, uh, Purusha. It is a combination, and the existence of Purusha is Chit Swarupam. You need it. Uh, but uh, what I'm saying is, even in the Seshwara Sankhya, mm. since Ishwara exists, but he's quote unquote inactive in the process. Yes, he is. an overseer and not a creator. Yes, Udasinaha. So, in some sense, it is very distinct from the Seshwara of the remaining theologies. Yes. Yeah. Yama. Yes, absolutely. Uh, in, a, uh, in, the, in the other uh, Seshwara systems, um he he is udasina adavadu kattupadutha padrar mayayinala he is bound by maya there but it is as if he is bound he still say, stays a sakshi he without him the maya does not act adu irukku okay illa idu vandha adu na it is uh, but it is not in the same way that is very clear. It is distinct. Yes. Because somehow in my mind, over mm. my study of a very little, mm. I mean, uninitiated study of Sankhya, Sankhya. I am still not able to uh, kind of reconcile in my head that it is actually Se Seshwara. That it is Seshwara. Huh. Uh, yes. That it, it is, is Seshwara. Not. Because the, the Ishwara component is quote-unquote dormant and only a seer. So so vandhi, see, the Nireshwara and Seshwara concept itself came later. It was not there initially. So the thing is, Purusha Prakriti concept was always there. Correct. The Ishwara Nireshwara concept, vandhi, it came about to uh, consolidate the other, you know, to say that this is also a darshana and this is, there can be an upasana marga here. If you think of it as a Seshwara, Apringarthakaha, they brought it into a concept. Later. So that is why you cannot reconcile that. This is purely a consequence of uh, Patanjala Yoga Sutra. Yes. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. Alda. Because Anga, you have that Ishwara concept because Ishwara Pranidhanatha is necessary there for you for Dharana Dhyana Samadhi. Alda. Okay, thanks. Mm. This uh, shloka is from Vishnu Puranam. One, two, uh, thirty. Yatha sannidhi matrena gandhaha kshobhaya jayate manasaha na upakartritvatu tatha asau parameshwaraha. Sannidhi matrena gandhaha kshobhaya jayate. The presence of fragrance, the fragrance does not have any action within it. But there is a fragrance, it creates some chalanam in your mind. Kshobhaya jayate. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't come into your nose and just, you know, it, that there is no action to it per se. There is just a sannidhi, a presence. That's all. For a gandha, for a fragrance. In the same way, parameshwaraha tatha asau manasaha na upakartrutvatu. Because he is not an upakarta, he doesn't do anything there. Manas is the thing that, uh, uh, you know, manasaha kshobhaya jayate. The same way, the Parameshwara is just existing there. By his mere presence, the Manas, there are certain things that happens in the Manas. Okay. Tatra, Seshwara Sankhya Mata Siddha Prakritihi Anena Vakyena Uchyate. 
so this with this uh, vakyam that is in the first uh, line tvam prakritim purushartha pravartinim pravartanim amananti in this line he talks about the seshwara and then in the second i think he says about the purusha also in this entire shloka is only about the seshwara sankhya why he says that hmm. so tatra seshwara sankhya mata siddha prakriti hi anena vakyena uchyate purushasya arthan pravartayitum eva tasyaha vyaparaha iti cha tesham mata so according to seshwara sankhya the the prakriti functions for the sake of purusha for purusha to enjoy things in the world tadapyuktam sankhya saptatyam this is there in sankhya karika also rangasya darshayitva nivartate nartaki yatha nrittam purushasya tatha atmanam prakashya vinivartate prakriti so when they want to talk about the moksham they have to say what to do right so prakriti shows herself and then uh, goes away and then the problems of you know they they decided without sankhya you wouldn't have advaita's uh, uh, creation at all they use they use sankhya's method of creation they use prakriti mahat etc etc when it comes to moksham advaitas are separate from that it, it's very different you know they edu venumo ad matra abadi they just take whatever they want and then let go of the rest so rangasya darshayitva nivartate nartaki yatha yatha nartaki like a dancing girl rangasya darshayitva having shown herself all her talents to the Uh, entire audience sa nivartate she gets back you know she returns tatha in the same way prakriti hi api prakriti also purushasya atmanam prakashya she exhibits herself uh, she she just shows all of her whatever she has to show and then she stops you know operates uh, she stops operating in the sense the moment the jiva the purusha realizes that it is only prakriti that is operating in this world at that moment that sangam that he has is gone and so she ceases to operate anymore so vinivartate atmanam prakashya the moment she is revealed to that purusha she goes back she ceases to function there <laughs> hmm. this is their uh, moksha seshwara sankhya sankhya ha tvameva jagat sargadi karim mula prakritim ahu sankhya sammataha purushaha api tvameva and you are also the purusha that is uh, uh, called uh, as purusha by the sankhya which is tvameva tad darshinam udasinam purusham viduhu tam prakritim drashtum shilam asya iti tad darshi you only purusha has the capability of seeing prakriti right uh, because nothing else prakriti cannot see itself it is you need the purusha uh, to see the prakriti and the one who sees the prakriti in its reality becomes the purusha and he also becomes uh, uh, um, mukta he liberated from the prakriti udasinam nirvyaparam purusham ishwaram viduhu the purusha who does not do anything there and he just stays tam viduhu vidanti ana vido lataha va iti nalladi vikalpaha okay i i didn't look at the sutra sorry maybe i'll look at it next time and we can see nirvyaparasya api asya sannidhi matrena pradhanasya jagat sargadi samarthyam iti sankhya vidaha vadanti so api tvameva nirvyaparasya purushasya a purusha who does not have any actions and yasya sannidhi matrena just by his mere presence pradhanasya jagat srishtyadikam वर्तते तस्य सामर्थ्यं कथं भवति इति चेत् तत्र पुरुषः भवति इति कारणात् प्रकृतेः सामर्थ्यं वर्तते जगत् सृष्टु अदरवाइज इट डज नॉट हैव दैट कैपेबिलिटी टू क्रिएट ऑल द वर्ल्ड द वर्ड्स एंड लयम एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा दिस इज व्हाट संख्या सेस सो इवन अकॉर्डिंग टू संख्या मतम यू आर द पुरुष एंड द प्रकृति त्वाम आमनन्ति प्रकृतिं पुरुषार्थ प्रवर्तिनी तद्दर्शिनं उदासीनं त्व साक्षी चैतन्यं त्वामेव पुरुषं विधु शाश्वत 
ಅಥ ಅಸ್ಯ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮಕತ್ವ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದನೇನ ಸ್ತುತಿ ಗೋಚರತ್ವ ನಿರಾಕುರುವಂತಹ ಸ್ತುತಿಂ ಉಪಸಂಹರಂತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಉಪಸಂಹಾರ ಆಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೋಟಾಲಿಟಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಸಿ ದೇವಾಸ್ ದೇ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯಾಗ ಅಂಡ್ ಯಜ್ಞ and you are of that form so tvameev havyam hota cha if you look at the mangala shlokam of shakuntalam right havyam uh, and hota everything all the if you look at the eight forms of shiva he says hota is also one of that right ya srishti srashturadya vahati vidihutam ya havir ya cha hotri ya havihi ya cha hotri so tvameev havyam tvameev hota cha shiva is also called as havyam that which is put in the sacrifice the offering and you are the person who offers it also hotri cha so tvameva habyam hota cha asi habyam pashu purodashaadi roopam homa sadhanam hota yajamanascha asi whatever you put in the offer in the sacrifice either pashu or purodasha uh, these are all uh, brahma habihi yajamanascha na tvattaha binnau the ya uh, the existence of us is because of yagam and whatever is put in the yagam is also you uh, if you look at vishnu sasanam also you will find yagno yagnapati yajva yagnango yagna havihi yagna havihi api yagna yagnangaha yagna swarupaha yagna patihi api so for vishnu also you have the same things for shiva also you have this for brahma they are uh, calling him also the same thing right ಭೋಗ್ಯ ಭೋಕ್ತೃ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅಪಿ ಆಹು ತ್ವೇವ ಶಾಶ್ವತ ಭೋಗ್ಯಂ ಭೋಕ್ತ ಶಾಶ್ವತ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭೋಗ್ಯಂ ಫಲ ದ ಫಲಂ ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಮಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಯಂಟ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಶಾಶ್ವತ ಭೋಗ್ಯಂ ಯತ್ ವರ್ತತೆ ತದಪಿ ತ್ವೇವ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಭೋಗ್ಯ ವಸ್ತು ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸುಖಂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಭೋಕ್ತ ಯಾಗಾದಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ಅನುಭೋಕ್ತ ಚ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಯಾಗಂ ನೌ ಯು ಬುಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಹವ್ಯಂ ದಟ್ ಹವ್ಯಂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಫಲ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪೂರ್ವಂ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ದ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಡ್ ಫಲಂ ಇನ್ ಅನ್ ಅದರ್ ಜನ್ಮ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಅಪೂರ್ವಂ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಹವ್ಯಂ you are that havya swarupa and then shashvatam yat bhogyam tadapi tvameva which is the apurva form and then the phala roopam karma phalam yat vidyate tadapi tvameva so all three forms you exist in all three forms yeah. yatra shashvatam iti bhog uh, na swarga pashvadi roopam phalam tad bhokta cha asi ityartha i think that's what he means by that uh, he doesn't clearly use the term of apurvam but you can take it uh, uh, from the mimamsa style so atra shashvatam iti bhogya visheshena yat karma phalam tat karma nashe nashyati yatha mardana karma nashe tat phala bhutam sukham uh, i have to stop with this 